Obviously, better than back-to-back -back losses in that situation. So, really happy about how uh, the guys just keep playing. And uh, somebody's coming up big. And today we had a couple guys. You know, first Pete Borges, and, uh, and then Pete Cosma, and Jay, and, and then Carp getting a big RBI for us. It's yeah, it's, it's fun when you can pull those out. Last couple three years, you and the Pirates have played a lot of close games, and players like this. Is there, is there something other than the fact that both good teams. Is there a reason why the competition is so close and so so intense between the two of these? You know, I think it, it comes down a lot of times to the starting pitching. I mean, today that's what the story was. And we were fortunate just to scratch something through. You look at that hit differential up there. I mean, it was pretty amazing that uh, our guys made pitches. John Lackey making pitches when he had to, and he had his back against the wall uh, more than once. And um, our guys just finding a way to squeak something across. But you know, I think they both seen, I think both teams have seen very good starting pitching from the other side. I think that's where it starts. And, and then you just realize this, you, you walk into that thinking it's going to be one of those knockdown drag outs and we haven't disappointed there. How does it feel if your team has left 18 Yeah, I mean, you know, we're always talking about that, that big, you know, that timely hit. And so we were looking forward to today and uh, it was nice um, Hayward coming in and being able to get us. That was a timely hit, getting us in a situation where we can get a run across the board. Um, I just, uh, we've been there. We've been there where we've had lots of traffic and just not able to push push it across. And, um, you know, that's, that's never a spot you want to be, but you don't necessarily want to be on the other side either where you can't get anything going. And that's really where we were the majority of the game. You didn't like that? Yeah, no, that was a that was a, a big risk that uh, didn't pay off, and you know we saw the inside move one time, and I know this isn't your question, I'm going to answer it anyhow. Um, saw an opportunity maybe, and uh, didn't play out. And you know it's nice when you see players even pick up staff and uh, coaches, and uh, you know that's a position you you can feel the air let out of the whole stadium when that happened, and uh, mine included. Peter comes up and then uh, gets a big hit, and, and John Jay is same. And it's, um, you know, that's, we got to keep doing that. You know, just next man up, somebody else has got to pick someone up when they don't get the job done. You know, Kendall went to talk to Cosmo at that point, that 2 0, did he indicate that that might be happening? No, we're just, you know, mixing it up because we always have an opportunity to draw back, maybe try to smash something through the infield, and, and to remind them, too, if they really pull a, you know, a, a crashed in style defense on the bunt, to not be afraid to draw back and take a swing. Um, that more so than worry about what's going out there. If Pete gets a good jump, which you know he continues the plate the way he was um, and doesn't finish the inside moves, it most likely Peter stand on third base. But nobody else. That's a that's a tough that's a tough play. Got greedy, uh, took a big chance, didn't work. Pretty confident with Carpenter up uh, <laughs> in the corner of the one out that he comes through there. I'm confident that uh, we know he's going to put together good at bat. I mean, we got to. Severe ground ball guy out there, and a guy that knows how to get the ball on the ground, and um, you know it's it's a tough situation to be in on the other side. And uh, you got you know Matt Holliday on, on deck too. That's uh, no fun to face. When we saw that last night, that's not necessarily a guy. I don't think anybody in the league wants to face with guys in scoring position right now. So <laughs> tough spot. I think it just keeps guys, you know. Sharp and and confident and, and you know we can we can give them a day like we did for for Adams and for Hayward today and they can still come in and be a crucial part of, of a win and uh, both of them came in and, and were prepared and they, uh, they they made the most of the opportunity which was you know, very timely for us. Your bullpen five more shut out of these days. Yeah, um, guys coming in and um, you know Seth got in a little bit of, of trouble there and had guys on base and. And uh, made pitches when he had to. Um, you know, I think uh, all the way through Seagrass, Randy ended up having to get a tough right-hander out. You know, reversed the situation what we had last night, and, and uh, you know, I think he, he made some nice pitches around the zone. But um, overall, you know, the pen did a terrific job. Looking, uh, always looking forward to get those long starts to give them a little more rest. But right now, they feel good.
Yeah, I think that's a. Yeah. Well, you go. You gotta. You gotta know your role, and he knows it very well, and has handled it very well. But he's almost a safety valve when you start talking about being your third catcher. You start talking about being the the one guy that does play shortstop that can play anywhere on the infield, and now. Uh, we're pretty comfortable with putting him in the outfield. You, you realize that you're going to be sitting there for a while, a lot of nights, and you uh, just have to be ready uh, physically to uh, have uh, wear a lot of different hats and and uh, whatever glove might need to be brought out. It could be one of any of them. And um, but he's he's staying sharp. Just shows you know the kind of player that he is. But I I agree with the statement. He's a winning style player. How many pitches does being a winner have? Uh, Villanueva, we're going to go inning to inning, just see how it looked. We still had Sokolovich down there, and he was, uh, you know, he was probably going to be the next guy up, trying to stay away from Belial. And we're waiting to hear on uh, Jordan Walton. Got him hot, and it didn't feel right. So um, we'll see. I don't know anything yet. Mike Liriano has the uh, ERA under two. Just talk about what makes him so tough. He's just na- he, you know, he's a good pitcher. I mean, he came in and he's got uh, deception. He's got life. Uh, Good movement on the baseball. It's you know it's just it's different than a lot of other pitchers in the league, and you could tell it was just uncomfortable swings all day. Good cutter and good curveball, and the changeups always there too. He's just uh, very well rounded. Has a lot of pitches. He'll throw just about any time. How long? I'm sorry. How, sorry. How, long, uh, how long do you think your pitching staff can just keep grinding out the way they have the first month, a couple of days, where pretty much every day you can count on exceptional. As far as the bullpen or for the starters, you know, I, I think they're showing um, who they are. I, I don't think there's any huge surprises there. You know, a couple guys we didn't know much about. Uh, you, know, you take your fifth spot with the, with Carlos. Um, I think he's showing why it's not just that you know guys are having trouble with one pitch. He's he's a different pitcher. Um, you know, everybody else is kind of showing like they should, and you know we're um, you know finding kind of spots in the bullpen to, to put guys in places where they can succeed. And, um, you know, we've been riding them hard. I thought that's where you're going because that's something I'm always concerned about. And, and we're going to have to try and get deeper in the games with our starters so we can take some of the load off of them.